Hello everyone, my name is Gina and welcome to Season Beauties. Our video on today, this is kind of like an extension of a previous video that we did, which was about our cleansing balms, okay? Now, at the time, I did do the ones that we had. I received a full, well, actually, I don't believe that it was all of her products, but I did receive about five, okay? Two of which we can't talk about because they have already gone by the wayside, okay? But this that I want to show you and demonstrate for you today and review for you today is by Alicia Keys and it's the Keys Soul Care line. Now, balms are a thing for me. I love a good cleansing balm. Well, that's what this is, okay? However, it's not the same type of cleansing balm as what we had before. Now this one, it says, this is the nourishing cleansing balm, but it's the way in which we do it. This one is a charcoal product, okay? Which I think is amazing. And I'm gonna show you inside of this jar so you understand why. Can you see this? I'm already down less than actually more than half of this jar. So it's like less than that left. And this was so amazing. I really wanted to be able to share it with you. Okay, it's just an extension of the balms, the cleansing balm video that we did uh, maybe a month back. So, but there are three different steps in this one. And this is just going to be about the Keys Soul Care line. So what I want to do is test this one out for you right here. I want to let you know how I feel about this one, okay? Then there's another part. This one, same brand, okay? This one is the Be Luminous Exfoliator, okay? Now, this one says, I am layered, complex, and divine. The difference is this is a powder. So we're going to deal with this one too. And then the next one is the finishing product after you've done these steps. Although I do add a, um, a toner in between, but that I don't have right now. So I'm not going to necessarily... Um, do that because it is the one that I use is not a Keys Soul Care product. But this one right here is the Let Me Glow Illuminating Serum. Okay, so we're going to do a step by step. All right, now I will tell you, I'm going to go ahead and take my rings off and we're going to do everything sitting right here at the desk. So let me just start off by telling you Three days a week, I do the charcoal cleansing balm, okay? Two days a week, I do the exfoliating, okay? That's how this one works for me. After my toner, I'm using this, regardless of which one I use, the charcoal or the exfoliator, okay? Now, I do use... Uh, this not only after the charcoal um, cleansing balm, but also after the exfoliator or exfoliation as well, okay? I just want you to see it. I, I'm telling you, this is amazing. We're going to go ahead and take the top off on this one. I'm just going to do the back of my hand, all right? So you can see. So just, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, just this amount, not a very large amount are we going to use. Okay, no water yet. So just rub it in really good. Keep rubbing. Okay. All right, so now that we've rubbed it in pretty good, it's nice 
and oily. Okay, so what has happened is the balm itself has broken down to an oil base. Well, we don't stop there. The next step, I'm going to use my water bottle. Okay, I'm just going to spray some in my hand. Now, watch what happens. You see, it, it lathers up to cleanse the hand. Okay, so now that we've done that part, I love it. I love it so much. Now, if I were doing this at the sink, you would see a much larger lathering surface covered. Okay, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and wipe it off. It cleans up nicely the skin feels wonderful it feels moisturized after it's done and now i i used the um the back of my hand to put my foundation and stuff on and then you know i'll go ahead and do my face i wiped it off with a wipe so i know that there was residue on here which it did lift right off okay so that's the first part all right, so that's using the balm. Nice, smooth, it feels wonderful. Okay, so then after that, like I said, three days a week, I do <laughs> this particular step, which, you know, is this cleanser. Now I try to not overload my skin but I do want it to be cleansed okay so now this part right here is just amazing to me so this one as I told you is a powder okay it is definitely a powder so I always put the stopper back in so I took it out and I pour just a small amount and I don't know how this is going to work. I need a really small amount since I'm just going to do the back of my hand. Ooh, that's too much. Well, we're just going to have to deal with too much. So it came out as a powder in my hand. Can you see that? Good. Now, water bottle again. Spray it into... up here okay and then you want to make sure that it blends in well turn it over this is what we get look at that you can feel the granules everything in it okay so I am loving this I'm telling you if you already have it you know but you've been hesitant to try it out Please, 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 please go ahead and do what you have to do to pull it out and try it out. So this is how it, you know, really works up on the skin. All right. So after we do that, we're going to wash it off. So I want to let it sit for just a few moments. Okay. So just, we'll be back. We'll be back. All right, so let me just tell you, I just let it sit for a little while, and you see it has really dried out. I want you to see that what I'm saying is still the case. So, spraying it, it's coming right back again. All right, so what are we going to do now? We're going to wipe it all off. Okay, now normally this would not be the case. I would you know, really rinse my face. But since we're not in the ki in the bathroom, I was going to say in the kitchen. Since we're not in the bathroom doing this, I'm just going to wipe it off this way. All right, I'm going to put some more water on it and make sure it's completely cleaned off. Wow which it most definitely is now. Okay, so that you can see what I'm talking about. This is it now that everything has been cleaned off. Okay, now 
before we move on to the serum, I am just wiping off the excess and cleaning up behind it as I would do with my toner, okay? So that's what I'm doing now. But while I'm doing this, I just want to tell you something. As much as I like this, there is one thing that I do not like. Absolutely do not like. And that is the smell. Mm -mm. Not for me. But if you can get past the smell for the product, amazing. But the smell, not my favorite. Okay? Not even close. Okay? So this is what it looks like after the cleansing balm and the exfoliation, okay? Smooth as can be, all right? So then the last step in this would be the Let Me Glow Illuminator, okay? So we're just gonna put small amount on, and that's probably a lot more. This is almost half of what I would use on my face. So it's amazing. So this is what it looks like now with all three products, okay? So this is something that's new, you know, to me. I've never seen a charcoal cleansing balm that's actually oil-based, and it goes from an oil to a cleanser, okay? But that's exactly what this is, and it is amazing. I, I have to admit, I've been using this since we've done the balms, the cleansing balms video. So I can tell you how I feel about it. My skin is a lot smoother, okay? it I don't have that texture kind of issue, you know, where in one section it feels one way and in another, another feeling. No, I don't have that issue. So, and then the scrub, like I said, is just as good. The crazy thing about this is I wish you could see exactly how much is in here. I've been using this for a month. A little goes a long way. It is right here. But this bottle was completely full all the way to the top. But one month's use, two days a week, and if I feel like I need it, you know, especially at another point, but for the most part, it's been two days a week. That's all I've used. That is all I've used. I'm not going to say it's because of the smell, but I am just going to tell you that's what my plan was to use it. Now, I did not realize that I even had the serum. Now, where did I get this from? This came in... BoxyCharm, when it was still BoxyCharm by itself, I received both of these, okay? Now, now that it has become what it has become, <laughs> uh, if you think back last month, because this one I received since it's been BoxyCharm by Ipsy, okay? But, and if I'm not mistaken, this was in the Icon box not just the regular BoxyCharm box. I will go in and check the video and if it's anything different, I will let you know. But I wanted to really share this with you. I am very, very pleased. My sidekick came downstairs and she said, oh, I need to do my face. I said, okay, that's fine. She went into my medicine cabinet and she saw this. Next thing I knew, her face was full of charcoal cleansing balm. And she said, oh, I'm coming back to try this one. She said, I'm coming back because she loved the way her skin responded, okay? And she does have challenges with eczema and it did not bother her skin at all. Her skin looked amazing. Now, I don't remember off the top of my head what the prices were, but I will put the manufacturer suggested retail price for each of these products, okay? And I can't promise I can put um, what the prices may be if you were to go on to BoxyCharm. I'm sorry. Ipsy. <laughs> on the Ipsy website, you know, when they do offer the sale. But 
either way, it, it is worth it. It is definitely worth it. And I am considering going back and buying this one again because I know this one is going to outlast everything. Like I said, it's just barely around the top. And this one is, well, I've used about three quarters of this jar. Okay, so because I get so many products to try, you know, I, I'm not saying I won't use it again because I'm most definitely going to. So this is something that I will repurchase. But I really wanted to share this one with you because we talked about balms and to have a charcoal oil based balm that goes from this in a solid form to an oil on your skin and then activates into a foaming cleanser, not heavily foaming, but a foaming cleanser with just the activation of water. It's worth a try. It really is. So if you haven't gotten it um, and you are subscribed to BoxyCharm and Ipsy before, you know, those who are saying we're ready to leave there before you leave, consider this product. If you're staying, consider this product or this brand, okay? Because it really has been very, very good to even my skin and you know how sensitive my skin is. And I have not had one issue since I've been using it. So, let me know your thoughts down below. If you have tried it out already, let me know how it worked out for you. If you had challenges with it, tell me how. Um, if you loved it, tell me that you did. If you have no desire to try it at all, I don't have a problem with you telling me that either, okay? But I really would love to know what your thoughts are, okay? Now, I appreciate you so very much for hanging out with me on today as we kind of did a little mini review of these products, okay? These three right here, and I will tell you, my mom absolutely loves that oil. The oil that came in this set, she loves it. My sister loves it, okay? And she's another one that has eczema on her skin, um, but she loves it the smell is light but it's nice it absorbs very quickly into the skin okay so don't forget to like comment and subscribe i would appreciate it love having you a part of the season beauties family okay so remember regardless of the season that you are in you will always be a seasoned beauty until next time Look at that smooth hand.